primary alkyl halide C4H9Br. Please note it is primary. A. Reacted with alcoholic KOH to give a compound B. Now C4H9Br. A. Which is primary. It says it reacts with alcoholic KOH to give a compound B. When B is reacted with HBr, it gives C. Which is an isomer of A? Well, C, they are telling me, is an isomer of A. Fascinating. When A is reacted with sodium metal, it gives a compound D. Now, I have to give a Woods reaction, it gives D and D is C8H18, C8H18 which is different from the compound when N-butyl bromide is reacted with sodium. So this is not equal to, now if I react N-butyl bromide with sodium, see this is butyl, N-butyl bromide would mean that I have Br and Br here and if I made it, if I make it undergo reaction with sodium, it means that these bromines would be removed and what I would get? I would get N octane. So this C8H18 is not equal to N octane. This they have very clearly mentioned. Fine. Give the structural formula of A and write the equations for all the reactions. We have been given major hints, so let's try. The very first hint is, this is primary. Now, if I have a butyl bromide, how many butyl groups do I get? Well, there is an N-butyl group, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then there is an isobutyl group. Then there is a secondary butyl group. And then there is a tertiary butyl group. So I could have had these four options, but I am being told that this is primary. If this is primary, it means that, well, I don't have tertiary or secondary as offers. This is not the case. If this is ruled out, I'm just left with one and two. But I am told at the end, please don't match it. This is not the case. If this is not the case, well then it seemingly I am left with only one option and this is isobutyl bromide. So most probably A is isobutyl bromide. Now let me try. If I do use alcoholic KOH, B would be isobutylene. With HBr, I would obtain tertiary butyl bromide and if I uh, react this tertiary butyl bromide with sodium, I would get something like this. This is what they are saying. This is what I am expected to get, which is not same as an octane. Well, it sounds okay. Could there be any other offer? Well, let me explore this also. Had I had this second primary one, one, two, three, four, had this been N-butyl bromide, with alcoholic KOH, I would have obtained this. With HBr, I would have obtained this. And with sodium, I would have obtained, well, something like the one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. This would have been the answer. So these both seem to be having a kind of favor with us. Primary alkyl halide, this. Is this primary? Yes. Is this primary? Yes. It is reacted with alcoholic KOH. It reacts. I'm trying out two options. To give a compound B, I get compounds Bs. B is reacted with HBr. Well, I give Markov Dikov addition. To give C, which is isomer of A. Is C an isomer of A? Yeah, it is isomeric. Fine. What else? Hmm. When A is reactive with sodium metal, it gives compound D. 
A with metal gives D. Yes. Which is different from an octane. We very well agree it is anyway different from an octane. Big D. That last step is pretty useless. This was anyway not being formed. So, what are the offers? Well, structural formula of A. 1 and 2. As per NCERT, both of them are seemingly the answers. Is there a superior and an inferior answer? Yes. This is a superior answer and this is, I am not saying wrong, but an inferior answer. Why? Because Wood's reaction is never good for tertiary cases. Wood's reaction, tertiary alkyl halides give less efficient Wood's reaction as compared to primary or secondary. So, this seems to be a much more, uh, a much better candidate for option D as compared to that one. But that is not impossible, let me tell you. So, this question actually has two answers, not one. This being a more significant answer and this also being a probable but not that beautiful answer.